Welcome to the Crypto Day Morning, and today's date is the 11th of June, 2018. But every day, of course, is Crypto Day. Every day, Bitcoin trades, and that's uh, the one wonderful thing I like about this market. And uh, like always, everything within your own risk or own reward. In 2011, Bitstamp what didn't have much volume and moves that look like this. Just hard to find people who wanted to trade on it. And it was only a few bucks. You had like, I don't know, like a couple hundred bucks you want to play with down here. Maybe you want to look into uh, getting about 60 or 70 Bitcoin. Now, how many of those people that were buying there are still holding anywhere near what they bought back then? For when the prices got extremely high, there we can see a nice little daily move where it went up from 16 down to 7, but they got much higher. How, how would you not want to sell off? I mean, wow, it got up to 230, 240, but then it pulled back down to 50 and a lot of volatile, choppy action, but... And here's a sustained bear market. Because you notice back then in 2013, April, it tops. And here we are into July and it's still well below its high. In fact, it was just looking nice. And here's that breakout pattern that we look for. Few of them. When we look at this market. There's a break of this resistance. So in here there were uh, situations. It was look. It was showing strength on the 18 here, and then this level of re resistance gets established. And there's technical analysis saying things are looking good. But when you have a situation of previous high, you realize that if the market made it to where it was before, you should surely at least do that. Which is what the key word is: at least. Thus, knowing you could do better, make higher highs. It's basically been about a half a year since the time frame of here to here, and then the thing just went, got going. So our correction has been obviously longer and bigger thus far, but the moves when it's ready to go. Oh, 130 up to over a thousand. Okay, how you doing? Seven X gain ish or so. And then of course this was the more sustained bear market because this high from the end of 2013 never got tested again until 2017 so it spent oh well over noticeably over three years to get back to this high so obviously this has been the best price and time correction bitcoin has ever had it we have a long ways to go to have one as uh, deeper well deeper and definitely through time so this went from 11 like about 1200 and of course it went down further 1200 to 157 that was a decline of 7.6x and the equivalency of a seven and a half plus seven and a half greater than decline now would be like 2600 and the recovery for this as we can see there was a lot of up and down choppy action but this move that came through near the end part of 2015 was one that was a real one it wasn't a failed move by any means because when it corrected successfully that's a key word successfully within the correctionary phase here what happened afterwards? It showed strength amongst the 18 and had several days staying above it. So you're going to have bullish situations, bearish situations. That's the market. And with every single one of these bear markets, when you roll through or just, stay, uh, just stick with the bad times and get ready for the good ones. There's spots where Bitcoin goes from 436 to 770. And just a short period of time within the month basically and if Bitcoin almost doubles from where we stand now well we'd be looking to be well past 10,000 but and at this stage here 
this was just getting back its retracement because you can I like to just draw lines like this to the key support marks they were it was going lower and we can see that the curve higher as the market changed its direction amongst here so the d time allocation within this correction was 2013 uh, the end of the year to start of 2015 so a little over one year going down this was all basically neutrality so from the start of 2015 to basically close to Halloween of 2015 almost 10 months of neutrality and then from October of 2015 to early 2017 that's about a year and a half almost of a bullish trend just retracing its losses that it had and of course what follows after this is significant break higher as there we had have the move just straight up to 20,000 and now it's had a small correctionary move we look at this on the daily term with less candles this market as I've been stating for quite some time is volatile as I just showed the example is really playing in, into setup for my favorite tool which is Fibonacci retracement using the exponential calculations the difference of the move high divided by the low so in a situation of a hundred and fifty dollar low and a top of around twenty thousand that this six thousand mark represented a twenty three point six percent down correction so it's at test number three of this area the last this one here is a pierce above because technically it's six thousand but when you're talking long term there's not much of a difference between sixty six hundred and six thousand as there wouldn't be between 6,000 and even 5,400. But from this low, this double top situation that I talked about before, very bearish pattern, comes back down for a big move, has another rally, lower high to the double top highs, and then a significant leg lower. It had a very half-assed correction in this spot where it basically retraced 23.6% from this low to this high. Thus, uh, just staying within the 18 average for several periods, a little over a week and a half. And when it left the 18, it did so with a monstrous red down day on Sunday. When today's session is basically just going sideways. Shorter term time frame. Let's take a look at this on a three hour chart. There's a spot where the market was just hanging in there within the uh, 7,600 range and a significant move lower, but the, well, half a day on the three hour. Let's just move this to the one hour. So that, yeah, you go down in here, just go sideways for a little bit. So one significant leg lower starting June the 9th at the uh, PM session. That was Saturday night. So 7,600 down to 73 or so. A couple sideways corrections, but as it made to go to the 18 average in here, it uh, sold, sold off. And I was saying in yesterday's video, I wasn't going to trust any of these rallies. I thought it might have even came up a little higher yesterday to 73 or change. But either way, I wasn't surprised to see what fell through yesterday at around one o'clock eastern time a significant price decrease and so far the market has digested the gains by creating a what people call a bear flag sideways uh, situation it hasn't had any major buyers come in and try to take these uh, great prices and buy the market back up closer to seven thousand at least not as of yet when you have a situation of multiple hits at key levels you're actually strengthening and uh, pointing out what key levels of support and resistance are this will be easy to determine when i look at this even more shorter term because the area in which is rectangle is practically all i want to see 
So 15 minute time frame. I could even go to the 10, I think. So basically somewhere around here at about uh, 68.20 ish is a key level of resistance, two levels of support. One, the major lows at around uh, 6,600 and change, 6,640. But somewhere around 67, a little above the 67 number, pretty much even down to 67 is the area of support. Currently it's been supporting at around 67.50, but it's in this sideways movement. And until it breaks it to that level, it's going to stay there. But when you establish what the strong levels are, you realize when you get a break to whichever one it's going to break from, you can get a significant move and a statement would be made. For a statement of a move breaking up above here, is that it's uh, wanting to revert the trend, thus make a higher high, or higher high from this level and a higher low later and, and all that type of stuff to revert the trend. But the statement on the opposite end within the market, which has been in a downtrend, is continuation of the trend. You'd be looking for another significant leg lower. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.